I thought we talked about this. Stay on the course I want you to stay on. This is my last warning. It's not a problem, boss. I hear you loud and clear. You don't want me acting out anymore, rocking the boat. So you can understand. Good. Makes things easier. Keep that in mind whenever you get these impulses to rebel. Re re rebel. Yeah, rebel. That's totally what I was trying to say. Yo, Richie. Can I have your briefcase? I mean, you ain't using it at all. Oh, Richie. I'll proudly give you my briefcase. If you can beat me in a 1v1 match. I think you should stop it. What, fight me? I am, I'm a well-behaved WWE wrestler. You know? Yo, Triple H, I'll beat you up. Oh wait, Seth Rollins just did the curb stomp. Oh my god, wait. You don't look happy, do I sound happy? Even less so. God, I want the W universe to hear it. Whatever you say, man, the ring's yours. And this Dude, the curb stomp's back, oh my god. So apparently we got witness promo, so that means some dude's gonna come out and be like, yo, what's up, big boy? Something told me we might hear from him. Can't wait for this one. He's not gonna keep us waiting, so let's find out. Caesar coming out here like he always does. Placing me in, in an untelevised match was the insult to me that it was to my fans. We're trying to punish our audience now. Come on, management. They pay your salaries too. You're going to have a difficult time keeping things going without the support of the WWE Universe. My fans don't deserve this at all. Dean Ambrose? Y'all, Dean, you got to get your boy out of here, son. Hey, 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 it's soon to be former Mr. Mr. Money in the Bank. Are you enjoying your briefcase? I hope so, because I won't want to deprive you two of your final nights together. Save your every second as they each disappear. After SummerSlam, I am walking out as the new Mr. Money in the Bank. Not Based on how friends, popular past performance really is, I'm absolutely certain my fans are going to want me to steamroll you. Can you hear them now? I think they want to start on you already. It's tempting, but I realize there's a time and place for these types of things. That's not now when I was trying to talk to them. No I'd say there's a glaring reason why management is sure. breathing down your neck. They've lost confidence in you, and that's a huge benefit of the doubt that anyone higher up has had confidence in you to begin with. And you, you may have some support, but no true backing. We are all walls in life, don't we? Some of us have absurd luck on our side or privilege we are born into. But I don't care if you're the highest high or the lowest low. We all have something we want, obstacles between us and it. People who build walls and are the chumps, but those who build bridges win. Bad I'm not the only one to say you ain't worth you have that briefcase, but I am one of the few willing to voice that fact. To go a step further, I think the last time you were out here and preening your grand plans, you were full of it, puffing your up to your chest, singing so sweetly. Who were you trying to convince yourself? The entire situation, I gotta admit, does leave me earning for a papa challenge. At times, you were completely beneath notice until you start whining. Now the high-pitched noise is grating my nerves to shreds. I only wish you could rise to the occasion and become more of a superstar than you truly are. Since you haven't used a briefcase, I'm betting you are the kind of superstar who waits for the best possible moment. Personally, I don't believe that idea. I think... 
when you want to use it, use it or lose it because you're about to. Once that briefcase is mine, cash in on the champion immediately. Wait, is that like a throwback to when Dean Ambrose immediately cashed in at Money in the Bank after Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns? I think it is. One thing I could commit to is helping others reach that spot too. I'm not selfish. I may well get there first, but I, I want to lift others out of their own situations too. Once I have the power to ensure I'm not being subjugated, I'll keep an eye open so no up and coming talent has to deal with the same thing. I've taken your measure by your words. You've never been taught the value of helping others, so it looks like the only way to teach you is by having a real Mr. Money to rank, shove those aspirations down your throat, but be on my terms. La match, briefcase, and title. See you there, Roadblock. Oh, dude, the title's gonna be on the line, sure boys. Looks like Caesar's Let's trying go. to get a title here tonight. Dude, oh my god, dude. Caesar's trying for his first title. But that's going to be next episode. Peace.